Hi, my name is Joe. Sometimes we may need to add more camera to the edge, even like this wireless access point. The fair solution is we can wire the new Ethernet cable from the router to the edge. But it may be the challenge, especially for the running business, you may need to start a business for the construction. Is there any solution we can just expand the PoE port without rewiring the cable? In this video, I'm going to show you how we can expand the PoE port edge by using the existing Ethernet cable. First thing is we will need this PoE, uh, PoE power switch. It looks very similar as the regular switch, except it can be powered by another PoE injector or PoE switch. First, let me just hook up this switch to the edge. Okay, next I'm going to take the cable from the camera and put power on the port number 8. This is the port which can take the power from the edge. Now the PoE power switch is on. So what I need to do is just get another punch code, like this one. So we can pick one of the port from the PoE power switch and now connect to the camera. You see, suddenly we have six additional ports add. We can hold up more camera, even the access point from this PoE power switch. I can hear the camera is running, the motor is running. But I think you also realize one thing. You see, this cable is supposed to just power one camera. But now we got seven port at totally. That means the power source could be the problem if we keep holding up the new camera to this additional port. This is another TY PO injector. We are going to place this high power PO injector next to the router so it's going to replace the power source by using this high power PO injector. It can output 90 watts in total. Now let's move to the router. The PoE injector has two RJ45 port. One is the data in. We're supposed to connect this port to our router. I'm going to use this short punch code. Now plug the one side to the PO, to data in and also connect to the router. So the PoE injector can get the data from the router. Okay, we also have the PoE out. So now I'm going to remove the cable from the PoE NVR and connect to the data PoE out. Meanwhile, let's see the back side. We got the AC port. So it's supposed to connect to the AC outlet to get the power. Once I plug in the AC, you can see the indicator is on. Just for a while, you also see the PoE port is on, which means the PoE injector now is sending the power to our PoE power switch. Okay, now let's just move to the edge to see the PoE power switch. Now we got everything ready. We can hold up the camera or the access point or any other PoE device, even VRP phone to the edge. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.